Today we're going to start our painting and we're going to begin by taking our square and writing our name and our class code on the back. And then we're going to flip this paper over and we're going to use a stencil, a rectangle stencil to help us create four equal squares in this big square. So we're going to line this up on the edge. We're going to use the other edge to draw a line across our paper from one edge to the other. And then we're going to rotate the paper so our horizontal line is now a vertical line. And we're going to do it again. Line up the bottom of this rectangle with the bottom of our paper. And then we're going to use the other edge to draw a line from one edge of that square to the other. And now we have four smaller squares on our large square and we are ready to paint. Then you're going to get some temper paint and you're going to begin to paint your circles. Now remember you also want to have some water so that you can clean out your brush and some paper towels so you can dry your brush when you're finished cleaning. So the first thing you'll do is just pick a color. I'm going to make sure my brush is clean. And I'm going to begin with yellow. I'm just going to paint a circle as close as I can to the center of this square. And then I'm going to add another color to it, one of the primary colors. So I'm going to try to get some orange. So I'm going to add some red next. And I'm going to try to overlap this a little bit so that I can get my paints to hopefully mix a little. Now that seems a little more red than I would like. So what I'm going to do is clean up my brush and I'll put some yellow on top. So then hopefully I'm going to be mixing my colors right on the paper. And now that's looking a little more orange. Then I can go ahead and clean my brush and do another color. This time maybe I'm going to dry my brush and add some white along the edges. So again, work on mixing a little bit right on my paper. And then while I still have white on my brush, I'm going to dip it in the red. So this will hopefully turn it into a pink. Now my brush is starting to get dry and I don't really want to change the color so I'm just going to dip my brush in the water and that will help spread the paint a little bit and create more of a smooth edge around my paint, my, around the color. Do it one more time get some smoother edges over here and there I go now I also want to paint the background so I don't want to have any white showing back here and I want to think of a color that I don't really have too much of so in this case I didn't use very much blue in this square so I'm going to work on painting the background of this so I'm going to go to the edge of the square I'm going slow around my edges. I'm going to go up to the pink. Get a little more paint. I'm going to go all the way around. I want to go to the edges.
and fill in that space. to fill in and it's okay if I go on the table that's why we have washcloths so we can clean up a little bit once we're done painting and there I have my first square done so one of the things you want to try to achieve when you do your painting is each square I want you to try to have at least three colors so in this square I have yellow and I have a reddish orange and I have a white and a pink so that's actually four colors and then I do the blue background so minimum of three colors and then leave then do a background color and now I'm going to continue by painting the rest of my squares <laughs> 